I'm John, your teacher. In this video, we'll learn 10 phrasal verbs for problems. Number one, figure out. I've been staring at this math problem for an hour. It's like trying to read a foreign language. Math can be challenging. Want me to help? That would be great. I'm lost. Don't worry. We can figure it out together. We can figure out the problem together. To understand or find a solution to a problem. After talking to her classmate, they managed to figure out the math problem. They used the Maps app to figure out the best route for their road trip. The detective was able to figure out the mystery after learning important information. Number two, break down. I still don't understand this math problem. If you take the 100 and divide it in two, it will become easier. Oh, so now I can work with a 50 and a 50? Exactly. And if you break those down, you can work with 25, 25, 25, and 25. You can break the numbers down to work with them. To simplify a complex concept into understandable parts. She managed to break down the recipe into simple, easy to follow steps. He broke down the fundamentals of photography for the new learners. The math tutor broke down the problem into simpler equations. Number three, think through. I'm considering adopting a pet. That's a big decision. Yeah, I know. Make sure you think it through before deciding. Think it through before deciding. To consider all aspects of a situation or problem. She didn't think through the consequences before making her decision. It's important to think through your options before choosing a career. Think it through before investing your money or suffer the consequences. Number four, talk over. I'm not sure where we should go on our trip. Let's sit down after dinner. Sounds good. We can talk it over and make a list of destinations. We can talk it over after dinner to discuss a problem or situation. We need to talk over our plans for the upcoming event. They decided to talk over their differences calmly to repair their friendship. Before launching the new product, let's talk it over with the marketing team. Number five, 
sort out. The closet is a complete mess. I noticed that too. We need to organize it and clean it up. Let's sort it out this weekend. Let's sort out the messy closet. To organize or resolve a problem. I need to sort out my closet for the upcoming season. He sorted out the fridge, throwing away expired items. She sorted out the laundry into darks and lights. Number six, deal with. The neighbor's music is too loud. I hear it too. How annoying. What should we do? Don't worry. I'll deal with it and talk to them. I'll deal with the neighbors. To address or handle a situation or problem. Our team is trained to deal with customer complaints efficiently. She had to deal with a flat tire on her way to work. She dealt with the crying baby by rocking him to sleep. Number seven, iron out. This trip itinerary looks good, but some details are missing. You're right. This is just the first draft. We need this to be perfect. We'll iron out the details tonight. Let's iron out the details tonight. To resolve or fix the minor problems. He took the time to iron out all the bugs in the software before launch. She worked late to iron out the mistakes in the report before the deadline. They met with the contractor to iron out the details of the renovation project. Number eight, face up to. I've been avoiding talking to him after our argument. You can't avoid him forever. I know, but it's hard. It's time to face up to it and apologize. Face up to it and apologize. To accept and manage a difficult fact or problem. He had to face up to the fact that he wasn't going to make the team. He finally faced up to his mistakes and apologized to his friend. She had to face up to the fact that she couldn't afford to buy a new car. Number nine, narrow down. We've taken so many photos on our trip. There's too many, it's overwhelming. How can we choose the best ones? We'll narrow it down to our top 20 favorites. 
we'll narrow it down to our favorites. To reduce the number of possibilities. She narrowed down her list of colleges to her top three choices. They narrowed down the list of job applicants to the most qualified candidates. She narrowed down her shopping list to only the essential items. Number 10, see about. The sink's been leaking again. That's annoying. Should we call someone? Yeah, I'll see about getting it fixed. I'll see about getting it fixed. To check something, to manage it. She said she would see about getting the printer fixed. We should see about booking a venue for the wedding soon. She went to see about a new job opportunity. Quiz time. Pause the video for each question. Find the correct verb to describe the situations.
Thanks for watching and thank you channel supporters. If you have a question about phrasal verbs, leave it in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe. And see you in the next lesson.